<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back. This is workshop three, and this is where Pod really takes over and starts doing some artwork. Uh, so we're going to start with character designs. I'm Colin. And I'm Pod. So why are we starting with character designs instead of jumping straight into the comic? Well, before you actually go anywhere near the near a comic, you need to know who you're dealing with and who the people are involved in the story. So it's all it's always good at the very start to uh, talk with your writer, and your writer will normally give you a brief description of what they're looking for in each character, and you have to work with them and do a couple of doodles. They you're you're never going to get it right the first time because it's going to be back and forth as to adding stuff on, taking stuff away, making them taller, smaller. It, for me, it's the it's but, but, but for me, it's my favorite part of actually doing comic books. Anyway, the concept artwork is just fun. After that, it's just when you're doing the book, it's just repeating what you've already drawn before. So, so uh, even yeah, if you're right now, so yeah. even if you're making the comic yourself, it's good to sort of get practice with the characters and to sort of get them right before you jump into it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You can you cannot jump straight into a comic book without 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 designing these guys out. So let's have a look at the characters we've come up with, and then we get stuck into the design. Because I've forgotten, <laughs> but I remember vampire carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Okay, so um, basically, we've only got kind of two characters involved in the story that we came up with. Uh, first of all, the goblins. Goblins. All right. They're small. I, I'm taking that we're going to we're going to make them all look fairly similar to each other. They're all going to kind of look like like clones, like the gremlins in the old gremlin movie. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. And for I suppose. We've only got one page to tell the story. You're not going to be able to fit in 20 different looking goblins. It's easier and maybe more fun. No, it, make, it will make it easier. The artists out there will find out <laughs> that it will make it easier to try to make them as generic looking as possible. Super. So, yeah, so there's going to be lots of them. They're small, green and ugly. Mostly look the same. They've got big ears, which is one fun distinguishing feature. And then, as you were saying, um, you're, you were talking about emotions and things like that. So the big emotion for the goblins is they're chaotic. They're just having lots of fun, and that'll really kind of define their character, not just the physical. Oh character. yeah, like uh, like when they're when they're sitting in the cinema. I mean, uh, I know there's going to be a panel where they're all going to be sitting in the cinema, so you can have some of them throwing popcorn in the air, or or, or one swinging off the rope, or swinging off the ropes. You know, you're just just generally messing about, basically doing what I do when I go to the cinema. <laughs> okay, so the dragon. Uh, ah, so the dragon. This is what we came up with for the dragon. So we decided it'd be fun if he was kind of like a grumpy teenager in the cinema. I suppose really we came up with that because it's almost a direct opposite of the goblins. It's what I'm like in yeah. the cinema. I'm grumpy and I don't like everyone being on their phone and I just want to watch oh, the <laughs> So he's big compared to the goblins. He's kind of short and squat. So those are yeah. kind, of, kind of the ideas down on paper, but obviously uh, we really want to bring them to life. So we'll get onto the character design in just a second, but we've one more element to the story. And that is where it's all happening. Ooh, 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 ooh. I remember, the Lido Cinema. Ah, gold star. We really got to get you a gold star for the next workshop. Oh. Um, so the Lido is a building on Watercourse Road where Community Art Link have their home. And back in the day, it used to be a cinema. So here is... As you can tell by the black and white photograph. Well, you see the photograph of the outside of the Lido? When, when I'm doing my comic strip, I'm probably going to use that as photo reference. See, what people, uh, what people need to know that is, if you can draw from reality, you're better off. You're better off doing some uh, using some kind of photo reference. It's always easier when you've got something to work with rather than trying to create something out of your head. So this is going to help out. So let's get stuck into yeah. the fun part. Let's start with the goblins. They they should be a little bit easier. Fantastic. So uh, if you wouldn't mind talking me through how uh, how the, how these guys are going to look, because. Okay, so we decided they're going to be small, so we can fit lots of them in, and that would be funny. They got big ears, because also that's funny. Um, big ears, lovely, green, and just kind of like weird, ugly looking bunch of, bunch of lads and girls. Yeah, okay. kind of weird, we, ugly we, looking. We, we, we could do that. What, we, um, what, we, what I can also do is play with the eyes as well, because uh, uh, you, you can get a lot of, a lot of expressions just by, me, just by messing with the size of, of uh, creature's eyes. Okay, he's looking, I like, I like that sort of effect you've got going on of one eye being bigger than the other, kind of makes him look crazy straight away, which I like. Yes, it, yes, it does. And then you can, you can mess with the furrows. So that's kind of like the, 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 the lines over the eyes, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, you know, you can look a little bit harumph. Lovely. And I think we said we'd make these guys kind of small, so I'll give them a 
pot belly. Okay, I'll give I'll give these guys a pot belly. <laughs> and what's usually funny is what I usually do when I'm doing cartoon guys is that I, when I'm drawing legs, I actually take the legs away and I go straight to drawing feet right under the body. Okay. Like, that that helps make that actually helps the if you're drawing short squat people, that helps an awful lot. Yeah, it makes them look really kind of really short and sort of weird, which is perfect for a goblin. Yep. And if we're going to make, and usually, rule, uh, rule for thought is if you're making small legs, make really long arms. <laughs> you, so it's, it's, it's like overcompensating. I suppose we can give them three fingers on each hand. Now, right now, these are only little concept ideas. And so, so actually, usually before you get stuck into a story, you'd kind of draw a lot of these concept ideas? Oh, oh! I go through pages upon pages upon pages, and I draw them all in different positions. Like, like I'm going to show you now, as we're going along. Do you have any? Do you have any, any suggestions with what I'm doing? Are, are you happy with what I'm up to here? I think it looks fantastic. Um, let me see. Yeah. What I can do, what I can do to make them slightly different from each other, because I know they're all going to look kind of like the same as this. But if I can move their spots around their face. That's what I was going to say, yeah, some weird kind of warts and things like that. And just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Mark it's a little, ident a little identifier to, to make one slightly different from the other. Or, you know, if you wanted to, give one of them a little tuft of hair, just to make them a little bit different. Yeah, some of them could have hairy ears and things like that. Yeah, that's, yes. Yeah, little things like that would be plenty enough to kind of distinguish them, I think. A little belly button or something. Give them a belly button. Yeah. Oh, right, we can, we can put that down here. There we go. Like a, a little E. I always draw. I always draw a little e. Uh, 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 button works out. It works. It, it, I don't know why, but it makes it look like an e. It always makes uh, uh, it look like an e. So what we can do again is we can draw these guys from the side. Okay. All right. So there's his head from the side. Here's one of his ears. Can we see this? Yeah. Yeah. Are you drawing a different? Are you going to try and make this goblin a little different? Or are you just going to draw the same one from the side? Well, they're all kind of look. You're going to have to see now for yourself. And we can bring his arms down, and he's like he's dragging his arms behind his back. <laughs> I like the way that arm is kind of dragging behind him. It's kind of unnatural and weird. It's it's good. Yeah. It just makes him look just just that much weirder. Yeah. So like this that. is what we call this is what we call a side profile. Here's his eye. Here's one of his eyes. We can put some spots around him. Here's his little ear again with some tufts of hair. Little neck, little body, pot belly again. <laughs> And you can see how fast I'm, I'm able to knock this little guy out now as well. So one thing I will say that you were saying to me beforehand is usually you do these in pencil, but it's just a little bit easier to see the pen uh, when you're filming it on camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I discovered through trial and error over the, last, over the last day that the pencil lines aren't really showing up on the camera. Okay. So I'm using, I'm using a pen. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw a little, I'm, I'm gonna make one big head because Okay, so you're really just taking a piece of paper and just filling it up with ideas and sketches and sort of... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would fill, draw, look, I would fill drawings after drawings after drawings of guys doing, just doing, ah, even different expressions. There he is with his mouth open. That makes a big difference, actually. That small little difference kind of to the eyes and the mouth really changes the character up an awful lot. I can see why it's worthwhile practicing these things and kind of trying oh, yeah. ways. Yeah, because you can, you can, uh, what, you're, what you're doing then is just getting completely different expressions from these little guys. Because this guy looks like he's like a, ah, he's seen something he doesn't like. Uh, you know, and then we can just put in the shoulders there. Kind of like me when I see a spider. Yeah, where? Where? <laughs> so you can get the idea. And we'll keep them nice and simple like this, because we're going, uh, I'm probably going to have to draw a whole bunch of these guys over and over again but like i said to make him different to him you can see that he well you using his eyes i'm able to change the expression and i this guy doesn't have a tuft of hair in his head so he's a little bit different and we can put little spots elsewhere in him yeah he's got if a he, much he, longer neck as well and even a small detail like that helps an awful lot <laughs> oh yeah when you do that it's like you know it's it's kind of like a freak though the neck extends you'll see it an awful lot in cartoons yeah in 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 uh, Looney Tunes cartoons, that's, that's where I got my inspiration from. Uh, 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 I'm really happy with that. No, like normally, I'd rec normally I'd recommend filling up two or three pages of these drawings in different angles, doing different things, and like we can throw popcorn around this guy, like he's just <laughs> like he's just 
Always eating the little popcorn, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's just and it's all after falling out of his little hand. Out of his little... It's like he's after seeing something frightening on the TV. <laughs> Should we uh, move over onto uh, Mr. Dragon? Yeah, let's get going in the dragon. Oh, this guy's got me. This guy, this guy should be interesting. So for the dragon, he's obviously what we decided. He's much bigger than all the goblins, but he's kind of he's kind of short and squat in his own way, like a teenager, kind of grumpy. He's wearing glasses, just want to watch the film. So I imagine he'll be more kind of angry and grumpy and subdued, maybe than the goblins. Yeah. Uh, what I'll do with him, considering we have him short and squat, I'm going to do the same thing with the legs with with the dragon as I did with the goblins. We make. So I'm going to cut his legs off and just slip some feet in underneath. Perfect. So, so we'll see where we go with this guy. Uh, let's start with his eyes. So those eyes are really different to the goblins already. Oh, you've got the glasses over them. That's what's going on. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a little slits for the dragon's eyes instead. Okay. Okay. And then we have the two big... And well, you're probably not seeing it yet, but it's these are the uh, the, no, the, the nostrils. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then we put the little top in his head. And sit. Right. Now, if you keep if you pay attention to the body, I'm going to make the body pretty similar to the goblins. He's just going to be bigger. Okay. He's got a nice long neck as well, like dragons have. And instead, and inst instead of putting the feet underneath his body, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put his feet to the side. Okay, so you can kind of see that he's got legs going on. Yeah, so you can yeah. kind of see maybe he'd maybe stretch out to be kind of longer, but he's looking quite squat at the moment. Yeah, so he looks like he's squatting down or he's sitting because he's probably because in the story, if I do, if I remember correctly, he's going to be sitting down in the middle of the cinema. Yes, absolutely, that yes. Yeah. So and if we want, we can put some little toenails on his little tree toes. I'm giving him tree toes. I don't know why, but I like yeah. the idea of tree toes to so make it easier for myself. Right. Let me see how we can oh and to make him really look like a dragon, we can put little mark making scales up and down his body. Ah that's really clever, yes. That'll really kind of complete the effect. And that'll give him a really different look to what the goblins have as well. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah yeah. And you only have to do it randomly. So I'm always ranting about mark making, which I should do this which I'll explain later on anyway. So you can randomly put little, I'm putting little like upside down U's all over. And we just, just put some little spikes going on the back of his neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's and nice probably one. a tail. We don't oh, have of course, of course. I forgot all about that. Of course the dragon needs a tail. We don't have to be too fancy about it. But that could be the general idea. And oh, okay, look, watch my E. Belly button. Belly button. You put an E in, you got a belly button. How simple is that? So, that'll be the general... Well, that's my interpretation of the general idea of the dragon. We can we can give him small little dinosaur hands then. <laughs> I suppose the hands are quite important because in a couple of the panels, you'll have him changing the film and opening the door and things like that. Yep, yep, yep. And... Holding on to the, holding on to, hold, with tiny little hands, holding on to the big pop, uh, onto, onto his popcorn in the middle of the summer. I, I think it's going to look funny in my head with these tiny little hands and a big, big popcorn. So that's his general idea. Now, what we can do is, let me see now, we'll move the sheet around. So, okay, here we go. We can mess with expressions. Like, here's his eye now again, and his, Eyebrow coming down like a furrow. So you're just doing so. This is really zoomed in on him now. You're just doing a close up here. Oh yeah, just like a close up of his face. You can see the big knot. Can you see the? Uh, can you see what I'm doing? Can you? Is it? Is it coming up? Um, I can see it. Oh yeah, I see what you're doing now. Yeah, so that's his nose. That's his nose. These are the slits for his eyes. These little ribs from his uh, from his nostril. And we can have. Smoke coming ah. out of his nose. I thought it'd be I thought it'd be a classy idea that if he's gonna get angry and he's a dragon, wouldn't it be like little That's instead of tufts of steam coming out the ears, you'd have tufts of steam coming out of his nose. Perfect. That's really good fun. That's a really nice touch. Yeah. So li nice little touches like that really add life and kind of excitement and humor in a comic. And you really want when you're drawing a comic, 
I suppose what you want. You don't want your pictures to be kind of still and flat. You want them to be kind of exploding with fun and excitement and to really come alive on the page. And that. Oh yeah, yeah. I I I, I live by the idea that the, that even if there's nothing going on, there should always be a little bit of action going on in 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 every panel. Even if it's just two people sitting down facing each other, one of them should be drinking coffee or something. You know, Love just 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 a little bit of action. So you kind of got the so we got the. Uh, he kind of looks angry here now. And we could put a little bit of black around his eyes. It always makes him look like they're really, really angry when you do that. So is that coming out? Oh, no, shit, that is coming out. Uh, yeah. Of course, I'm going to put some little scales in there. Okay, so I can, I can see the scales a little better now when it's zoomed in like this. So you're just doing little kind of U-marks now. It's little mark making, as you said, but it makes a big difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's because I'm doing a blown up shot of his head. So that's why you're able to see it better. Uh, it's kind of like a cool idea, and of, oh, of course I've, I can put oh, the little, glasses, yes. I can put the little spectacles back in then, because he's short-sighted apparently. And I, I can suppose, do for being short-sighted. I suppose we'll do him one more from the back, and what we'll do is we'll draw him from behind, so we have his. And we can put in, we can use the thing, what I'm using for scales, I can also use for drawing in the vertebrae on his back. Okay. You know, like the spine. Yes. So it look like he's got a spine. And we can have him looking off to the side a little bit. Okay, so you're doing another kind of angle on him. Yeah. Oh, I change, whenever I'm drawing them, I try to change up the angles as much as possible because the more, the more you get used to them, drawing them in different angles, the easier it's going to be to draw them in the comic. So it's always handy to, to change them up. Don't, like, there's, no, there's no point in constantly drawing this guy over and over again because you're, you're, you're learning nothing. You're, you're not getting into the flow of, of, of drawing them in different positions and get, pretty much getting into the character himself. So we can draw his tail. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we might add in some some spiky things here as well. Yeah, that's a nice detail. So I suppose at this stage, yeah, see, I did, I didn't, do, I didn't do that in the first drawing. I'm just adding it in now. Yeah, so you're still kind like of said, developing this, and and so we're process. we're evolving the character a little bit as he's going on. Super. So this is again another good reason why it's good to spend some time with the character, so you get the best possible version of them by the time you start the comic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then we draw the, the little glasses. Oh, I think that's enough for now. So like I said, so normally I would, uh, I'd fill up, uh, well, it's, it's my favorite, like I said, it's my favorite part of drawing. I'd fill up a load, of, a load of pages doing this, but I'd recommend doing two or three different pages and trying to find as many different angles you can to draw these guys. And as you're drawing them in each panel, as you saw, you're going to be adding stuff on or taking stuff away. Like I was adding on little, little, little spikes onto his tail as we were going on. Uh, okay, um, in the next video, we're going to be uh, delving into, now that we have the character designs done out, we're going to be delving into the thumbnail sketches before we go anywhere near drawing the finished comic. We're going to have to figure out there are six panels. We have to figure out where they where they're all going to be placed on each panel, and kind of like just using stick stick drawings, we're going to figure out where all the characters are going to be are going to be placed in each panel. We'll do it a couple of times to see which ones work and which ones don't. When we finally settle on a, on a thumbnail sketch, that 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 will evolve into the finished comic. Okay. That sounds great. Um, okay, so we'll wrap up there, and we'll see you all at the next workshop. Bye. Thank you.